Hi everyone, this is Daisy and welcome to my channel. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for today's video. We're going to propagate our variegated succulent. But before that, I wanted to share with you that there is something sad here in my garden. My variegated dean has died already because of stem rot. Maybe because last night it rained so hard that it did get wet it doesn't have root yet so we cannot do something about it and for the variegated subsicillis it has been rooted already for almost two months here since the rain last night was too hard and it really gets soaking wet so he was not able to stand the uh, too much water but the pots beside it they all survive except for this variegated subsicillis in line with what happened to our variegated succulent that's why it is important to propagate our succulent it might be common or a variegated one it may be collectible one or not it's nice or it would be good to propagate our succulent so for today i will propagate our murasaki a hybrid of murasaki and lawi our variegated titubans our variegated mibina our variegated mirinay and our mickey mouse that i have noticed that has tamra too we will be using this pot and a black pot so we can start now as you can see closely in the video half of the stem of the mickey mouse has tamrat or black spot on it already so first let's disinfect our scissors that we are going to use to cut the variegated mickey mouse we will be using also cinnamon So first, let's cut the rotten stem on the variegated Mickey Mouse. Just like this. There. Just make sure that there's no black spot on the stem anymore if you cut it so it will not continue to rot. I'm not sure if this Mickey Mouse will survive, but to be honest with you, I think the chance of surviving of this variegated Mickey Mouse is 30% only because the stem is not that hard. And I think, although it's not yet all black, I think it's already rotten until the top part, but let's give it a try. There's nothing wrong by trying to save it. So what I do with the pot that has stem rot, I put generous amount of alcohol on it and then I will put it under the sun so that the bacteria that's living there will die. So first before we pot it, we have to dip the stem of the variegated Mickey Mouse here in the cinnamon so it would heal fast. That's what I do whenever I cut or try to propagate something except for the the petal mirinay and mend the because they are easy to propagate i don't know what's with the properties of the grab the petal mirinay and mend but they are really very easy to propagate so for this one i think we need cinnamon to heal it quickly since it comes from stem rot this is how it looks like now so I forgot to put Osmocot on it. So just like what I said, 30% for me, I see it's only 30% the chance of living of this Mickey Mouse. But let's give it a try. So I'm now trap dressing it with our aqua soil. And now I already cut these variegated tito bands. It's like that. So I just simply cut it with my scissors, which I disinfect. 
So we have to put cinnamon on the stem that we cut because it's too big so it will heal fast. As you can see in the bottom of my variegated tito bands, I have already some leaf propagation on it. And it's already has roots too and attached already to the soy mix. So for the stem that we have cut, I'm going to remove the bottom leaves and propagate it too. In my experience, propagating the variegated to the bands through leaf is quite easy, shall I say, because I have propagated some already, but they are too small yet. So we have to dip the stem also of the cut stem of the variegated little buds before we put it in the pot. For in propagating this variegated succulent, I use a new soy mix which is composed of 50% lump soy and 50% pumice stone. And then I just added some osmocot and the soil mix is completely dry. So right now I am top dressing the pot with aqua soy. So it would look good and to prevent also the house bird from laying from my soil mix. So this is how it looks like, it's pretty cute because also of the pot. So I wanted to show you some of my leaf propagation of the variegated tito bands. As you can see, there are already offspring or offsets on the leaves. So all you have to do is put it on top of the dry soy mix. And the other leaves that are remaining, we're going to propagate it on the path of our Hamel sunset. So I would make all these leaves fit here. And hopefully, they can give us all offsets or babies. And now, we are going to propagate our variegated medina. So, I forgot to put osmocot on the two other pot, but that's fine. Since the soy mix that we use is a newly mixed one. So, this variegated medina has been with me for, I think, about five months already and i noticed something that it's not getting healthy i think there's something wrong because i wasn't able to clean up dried leaves inside of this variegated maybe not because it's so clumpy and i was not able to reach the inner part of the stem so as you can see when i cut the two stems I can now easily clean up the dried leaves inside. So let's collect all the dried leaves first. And there are lots of them, see? And I see some pests. I think it's mealybug. I saw some white spot on the stem there can see it loosely so there are more dried leaves so let me finish cleaning up this pot first and then later on we're gonna put some alcohol so that the mealybugs will definitely die if you use a 70% isopropyl alcohol and then tomorrow I will check it again in order to check if all the mealybugs has died so if ever I see another really bugs there, I have to spray alcohol. So these are all the dry leads that I have collected and now it's time for me to put some generous amount of alcohol on it. And I'm going to show you how it looks like. So now I can see clearly the stem of the variegated Mivina after cleaning up the dried leaves on its stem. So see? Clean already. So let's put it on the side first. And now we have to clean up the two stems that we have cut and that we are going to propagate today. So let's see, I guess there's pests in here too, looking at the dried leaves that turn into black, 
there's something wrong. So I'm trying to save also leaves that we can propagate. So there, you can see the mealybugs. I want to remove more leaves because I see mealybugs in between them. So there, so we put generous amount of alcohol again. So if you're trying to kill some mealybugs on the stem or in between the leaves of your succulents, make sure to spray or put generous amount of alcohol on it or else the mealybugs will try to escape. And let's cut some stem that I think that is already rotten or not healthy. So let's go to the other stem. We will be doing the same, checking if there are mealybugs, removing the lower leaf and the dry leaves. And put generous amount of alcohol on it. So all the leaves that I have removed from this stem, I will propagate it, putting it in the main part of our variegated mabina. So for this one, I thought I have on the video while I was doing the propagation of the variegated mirinic, but I did not. So I just simply cut some four cuttings. I simply get four cuttings from this part of the variegated mirine. I choose the one with the matured stem and put it in the small pot. And I remove some leaves also to try to propagate it through leaf propagation. So now we are going to put the two variegated mibina since it's already dry. We can pot it already. So let me put some osmocot first. If I'm using new soy mix, sometimes I don't put osmocot already. But for this one, variegated mibina, I wanted to make it root faster. Since this is one of the succulents that I love also here in my garden. So for this stem I wanted to remove more leaves because it's so hard to pot because some of the leaves are facing down so it would be easy for us to pot we have to remove the lower leaves but the lower leaves that are healthy I'm going to propagate it putting it in the main part of our variegated medina so we're done all we have to do is put the top dressing the aqua soil on the pot to make it more beautiful and to prevent the house bird from playing with our pot i hope this propagation of the variegated mibina would be successful And now we are going to propagate this hybrid Lawi Murasaki. So actually it's not a variegated one but I like this succulent too. So we have to remove some leaves in order to have a clean cut on it. And the leaves are so healthy and chubby that we can propagate it. So if you would see or notice in the pot, I have propagated already some of the leaves there and it has already babies on it. So let's remove some more of the lower leaves. So this is how it looks like loosely. It's so cute. And I'm trying to protect farina of the leaf. I don't like to touch the leaf so I could have a perfect farina on it. And we have to put cinnamon on the stem that we have cut and put it aside first. And then we have to put cinnamon also to the stem that we have cut 
and we're going to pot it also today. I'm using new soy mix. Let's add some osmocote so it will do it fast. And I'm using dry soy mix. So let's add soy mix gradually as needed and top dress it with our aqua soy. We're finally done potting and propagating them. Let's have a final look of each one of them. Enjoy watching! And before I end my video, I wanted to flex the channel of my members. Please do subscribe. Adi Roxy. Beat Pinay Journey. Eileen De La Cruz Vlog. Josephine Bauyon. Jeremy Hermano. So that's all for today's video guys. I hope you like my sharing for today. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and share my video to your family, friends, and relatives. 
Bye for now. See you on my next video. Bye. God bless us all. Bye.